Matthew Perry death part two. So thank you for supporting my first video about the biblical death of Matthew Perry, Channel of Bing. Um, some of the comments were fantastic. So thank you. I appreciate you all for watching my work and supporting it. Now I am gonna go into some foreshadowing. Friend star Matthew Perry dead at 54 after apparent drowning. Have you ever watched the opening to Friends? Well, this right here is Matthew Perry, a.k.a. Chandler Bin. And it looks like he's drowning. And this water feature here looks heavily, heavily demonic. Almost looks like it's smiling as well. And for all those people who talk about duality and the Freemasons and the black and white, this outfit is very interesting, isn't it? The light and the dark. Well, Jesus Christ is the light of the world, guys. So Chandler Bing was born on 4868. The character Chandler Bing, 4868. Chandler Mural Bing is a fictional character from the NBC sitcom Friends portrayed by Matthew Perry. Chandler, which has Handler in its name, was born to Nora Tyler Bing, an erotic romance novelist, and Charles Bing, a gay female impersonator and star of a Las Vegas drag show called Viva Las Gagas as Helena Hambasket. Charles Bing. My code about Matthew Perry's death connected to King Charles III. Well, check this out, guys. This should blow your mind. All right? Israel was founded in 48. Chandler Bing was born in 48. Matthew Perry, who portrayed the role of Chandler Bing, he died on Bill Gates' 68th birthday. Chandler Bing was born 4868. Now, when I think about Bing, I think about Microsoft. Microsoft Bing, commonly referred to as Bing, is a web search engine owned and operated by Microsoft. The service traces its roots back to Microsoft's earlier search engines, including MSN Search, Windows Live Search, and Live Search. Really? Matthew Perry, who portrayed the role of Chandler Bing, died on Bill Gates' 68th birthday, who founded Microsoft? And Chandler Bing, the fictional character, was born in 68? Wow. Now, the character Chandler Bing was born exactly a span of 666 months before Israel was attacked by Hamas. Wow. Revelation 6, 8, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. It's Revelation 6, 8. It's why Adolf Hitler died a span of exactly 68 months after World War II began. Now, I checked out Matthew Perry's Instagram. He died whilst he was following 68 people. His last posts on Instagram were cryptic posts about Batman. And he died on the birthday of Joaquin Phoenix, who just won an Oscar for his portrayal of the Joker. And Chandler Bing was the Joker of the group in Friends. So, if we go to his Instagram, look at this. It's about Batman. Batman plays pickleball. Not long ago, Donald Trump said that he was Batman. We know Batman, guys, has horns. Okay? These people are complete deceivers. All right? Who have the spirit of Satan in them. So like I said, guys, Matthew Perry, he posts these cryptic posts about Batman. And he died on the birthday of Joaquin Phoenix. Okay? Because Matthew Perry died October the 28th, 2023. So he died on Joaquin Phoenix's 49th birthday. The guy who literally portrayed the role of the Joker. Batman's biggest nemesis. And I've told you, the Joker he portrayed really struggled, really struggled with mental health, just like Matthew Perry. 
see how deep this all is. Matthew Perry drowned. Joaquin Phoenix's siblings, River and Rain. River Phoenix? Rain Phoenix? And Matthew Perry dies the year that Super Bowl 57 was held in Phoenix. Now check this out. Perry's five friends co-stars have not reacted publicly as of Monday morning. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, Blanc means white, the white horse is the first horseman of Revelation, and David Schwimmer, which sounds like swimmer, which connects to water, have not issued a public statement on Perry's death. Well, they're not very good friends, are they? Usually in the world of celebrity, a celebrity dies and their family members and friends are tweeting about it instantly. Not with these friends cast members, eh? Matthew Perry's Friends character Chandler predicted who'd be first to die in sitcom. Friends fans have pointed out that Matthew Perry's character Chandler Bing foreshadowed that he would die first as the sitcom star is found dead at his home age 54. So in this episode here, he literally said, I guess I'll be the one who dies first. In this episode, he dropped some plates on the floor and he woke up a baby, okay? Which led to him saying, I guess I'll be the one who dies first. And what happens? He's the first main cast member from Friends to die. They say things like this. Matthew Perry's iconic character Chandler Bing eerily predicted that he would pass away first. How many times are people just going to say things are coincidences? Look at this. Matthew Perry's premonition about his death months before jacuzzi tragedy wow so he died at age 54 did matthew perry and he was born in 69 and six times nine equals 54 his wife jennifer aniston starred as rachel green and the fourth horseman of Revelation is death and rides on a green horse. All right? They don't just randomly put these names together, guys. This code in reality, there's no accidents. There's no accidents whatsoever. So this was part two. This alone could have been a video with the fact that we told that he drowned. Really? It's absolutely monumentally incredible what I'm showing you every single day. And I know more and more people are waking up because I wake up every morning to more and more emails thanking me. So I continue to do what I do. Now, please let me know your thoughts. I'm sure there's a few Amazing minds who can leave comments and add to this. This will be my final video about Matthew Perry, a.k.a. Chandler Bing. Please like, please share. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out my website also if you haven't. God bless you all. Stay strong. Study the word of God. God wins.